Okay, so I'm going to do a quick review of a few tools that I've bought here on Banggood. Um, so let me switch cameras here and take a look at our work here. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, what I'm going to be showing here, this is a homemade uh, mill setup that I've done. Uh, this is a full stand-up height uh, drill press, just a home drill press, but a pretty good one uh, that I've modified. Uh, I fit this with an ER32 collet holder. Uh, it's an MT2 or Milton Taper number 2 uh, to ER32 collet holder. Uh, a water, word of caution here, I can't quite show it because I don't have room to drop the spindle. Uh, but you can't just stick one of these in like you do on a Jacobs truck because with the, the milling operation, you're putting lateral force on it and it is quite dangerous if it's not attached, it will re release from the Milton taper and come out. Uh, so you need to have some sort of drawer bar set up. These come, uh, at least this one comes with, uh, I believe it's an M10 thread. Uh, the drill press does not have a th full bore all the way through, uh, but it does have a, a cross slot uh, that's meant to be able to knock your Milton tapers out when you need to change tools in there. So what I've done, I've put a crossbar that goes into that, that slot, and I have, uh, I took an, an M10 bolt, uh, one of my lathe uh, over here, and I drilled a small hole up through the center of that bolt, uh, and that's threaded into the end of this. And then I have a small bolt uh, that runs up through the center of that and into a crossbar that fits in the slot. And that takes this Milton taper and just draws it right back up into the spindle tight so it can't fall out, can't wiggle or any of that. It's nice and tight in here once you tighten it all up. Uh, so you need to do something like that or if you have a, a real mill then it's going to have set up for a drawer bar where you just pull it up properly with the M10. Uh, Anyways, what we'll be testing here, we've got uh, ER32 collets. Uh, we're just going to be using, it's a number 14 that's in here. This is a 13 that I'm holding in my hand. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, they're a lot better than like a C5 collet. Uh, and definitely better than a Jacobs chuck by, by all means. They hold very secure. Uh, the grab is quite strong, uh, and they're extremely accurate. I use these on the lathe as well for small parts, uh, and they really shine there. Uh, using them on my mill, it's more for strength. Uh, the bearings in this mill are not anywhere near as accurate as what the collets are capable of. Uh, so they actually exceed my, cap my needs on this. Uh, the other tool that I'm looking at, well, we just looked at the uh, adapter here I described. Uh, that's one of the tools I bought on Banggood. The other is this mill, uh, end mill. Uh, this is an insert type. It's got blue nano inserts, which you can also buy these on Banggood. Uh, this is a 14 millimeter, uh, the full designation here, 300R. C14 14 150. Uh, that's 14 millimeter diameter and 150 millimeter long, which includes going up into the collet. Uh, so uh, let's fire this up and see how it runs. Uh, I'm going to drop this down, just another pass. Uh, I'm just going about a millimeter down, which is going to be almost to the end of this project. And the depth here uh, that I'm cutting, or, or the, the amount I'm cutting back, is about half a millimeter. So about a millimeter depth and half a millimeter back. Uh, this is hardened steel. If you're not familiar with what I'm working on here, this is a tool holder 
for my lathe. Uh, it's uh, quite hard. And the reason I'm milling this out, um, these are set up in fractional sizes. It's a, it's a three quarter inch gap, uh, but my tools are metric. Uh, it's a 20 millimeter uh, tool that I want to run in this. So I need the 0.5 millimeter more just to get it to fit properly. So now let's fire this up. see some of the chips here. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, hard to get a good focus on it, but yeah. The chips are not bad. They're, they're quite sharp. Uh, like I said, this is uh, hardened steel. It's quite hard. I tried previously cutting this with uh, high-speed steel uh, end mill instead of this uh, carbide with the blue nano. And high-speed steel could not touch this. It basically just dulled the tool right out. And as you can see here, I, I've cut all the way down to this point, and uh, this tool is going quite strong. It's not struggling with it at all. Uh, I actually feel I could cut quite a bit faster than what I am here, but I'm being cautious with it, uh, where I've just started uh, using this tool. It's This is new to me. Uh, and also, too, I want to get a fairly fine finish on this product. Uh, so I, I don't want an excessively fast feed rate that's going to leave a lot of uh, cutting marks on it. Anyways, I, I think this pretty well wraps up this tool. We've got the uh, MT2 to ER32 uh, holder adapter. Uh, the, uh, the ER32 collets themselves and the end mill set up here with the inserts. Okay, thank you.